This set of slides is about elasticity and in this presentation we'll explain price elasticity of supply and how to calculate that. So price elasticity of supply me measures the responsiveness of a change in the quantity supplied to a change in the price of a product. Formula for calculating price elasticity of supply is percentage change in the quantity supplied of a product divided by percentage change in the price of the product. So to simplify the calculation we break it into bits. First step, calculate the percentage change in the quantity supplied. Second step, calculate the percentage change in the price of the product. And third step, combine these two to determine the price elasticity of supply. So here we have a supply curve showing quantity supplied at a price of 16 rand and a price of 24 rand. So if the price increases from 16 to 24, the quantity supplied increases from 300 to 500. Formula for calculating price elasticity of supply is percentage change in quantity supply divided by percentage change in price. So let's first calculate the percentage change in the price. Price increases from 16 to 24 thus by 8. So the percentage change in price can be calculated by the change in price of 8 divided by the original price of 16 divided by 100. And that gives you 50%. 8 divided by 16 times 100 is equal to 50%. Quantity changes by 200. So the percentage change in the quantity supplied change in the quantity divided by the original quantity times 100 it's 200 divided by the original quantity of 300 times 100 over 1 gives us 66,7 percent so if we combine those two to calculate price elasticity of supply this percent change in the quantity supplied is 66.7% and the percentage change in the price is 50% so that gives us 1,3. You can see that the percentage increase in quantity is larger than the percentage increase in price and that is why the price elasticity of supply is larger than 1. Supply is elastic, the quantity changes by a larger percentage than the percentage change in price. Here we have a different supply curve where we can see that the percentage change in price is relatively larger than the percentage change in quantity. So in the change in price leads to a change in the quantity supplied and the percentage change in price is greater than the percentage change in the quantity supplied, the elasticity suppl of supply coefficient will be greater than zero but less than one. So price elasticity of supply will be larger than zero but smaller than 1, so between 0 and 1, because the percentage change in the quantity is smaller than, than the percentage change in the price. We say supply is inelastic. The quantity does not react a lot to a change in the price, or it reacts by a smaller percentage than the percentage change in price. Here we have a perfectly 
vertical supply curve, we say it is perfectly inelastic. When there's a change in the price, there is no change in the quantity supply, it stays the same. So the elasticity of supply coefficient is therefore also equal to zero because the percentage change in quantity is zero. Therefore, percentage change in quantity supplied divided by percentage change in price is equal to zero. Price elasticity of supply is therefore also equal to zero. Supply is perfectly inelastic. That is a vertical supply curve. When the supply curve is perfectly horizontal, it means producers are willing to supply any quantity at a certain price. Q1, Q2, Q3. But if the price decreases, for example to P1, the quantity supplied will fall to zero. We say that this supply curve has an elasticity coefficient of infinity. And this is the symbol we used for infinity. So the percentage change in quantity is equal to infinity and therefore price elasticity of supply is also equal to infinity. Supply is perfectly elastic. And then the last scenario we look at is where the percentage change in price is exactly equal to the percentage change in quantity. So when this is the situation we call this unitary elastic supply. Percentage change in quantity is exactly equal to the percentage change in price. Therefore, price elasticity of supply will be equal to 1. So if we can summarize the categories of price elasticity of supply, we looked at elastic supply, where the percentage change in quantity was larger than the percentage change in price. We look at inelastic supply, where the percentage change in quantity was smaller than the percentage change in price. Then we consider perfectly inelastic supply, the vertical supply curve, where there is no change in the percentage change in quantity. And then perfectly elastic supply, where the percentage change in the quantity was infinite. And then the last scenario we looked at was unit elastic supply where the percentage change in quantity is exactly equal to the percentage change in price.